I wanted to show how easy it is to trade out your old T12 fluorescent light fixture for the new LED direct um, type B bulbs. Uh, so basically, if you've got these one and a half inch T12 bulbs and the ballasts are going, um, you're getting that flickering, um, the bulbs aren't lasting, then you've got two choices. You can come back and you can replace the ballast and maybe put in some electronic ballasts that are T8 compatible. Sorry, hard to do this with one hand. Or, ooh, give me a sec. Technical difficulty. And we're back. Um, so yeah, you can replace these old magnet ballasts with new electronic ballasts or you can go the easy way which is to completely cut them out and wire them directly into hot with the new type B LED bulbs. Um, there are uh, LEDs that fit into T8 electronic ballasts I believe those are type A um, so if you've already got some T8 electronic ballasts, you can just buy the LED bulbs and they'll go in. But they don't last as long. Well, most of the time they don't last as long. And eventually the ballast's going to go out. Um, yeah, so anyways, if you are upgrading though, it just makes sense to go directly to LED and never have to worry about ballasts again because the Type B LEDs are direct drive, so they've got all the electronics inside of them. Um, and this is how easy it is. I'm not going to be able to show you a full install. This is more or less to get you going on it. But you cut the wires off right at the ballast themselves. Obviously, make sure your power's off. Um, this looks like the last guy. This is the last guy in the series of my lights. Alright, so I just now completely and totally cut out the ballast. Okay. I save the extra wire for making jumpers. Okay, so now these ballasts are just going to be removed completely. They're not going to stay up here. And all I have to do now is just tie all of this together with one jumper coming out tying into hot so this will be my hot side so all of these are going to be tied together they're all going to be hot okay this gets hot on both sides hot on both sides hot on both sides hot on both sides um, the way this is set up black is connected to uh, blue I believe or yellow I don't remember and then that comes out and comes out. So all of these on both sides are tied to black already. So all I've got to do is cut these off. I'll connect three to a four splice jumper nut, which what I'm using are just these little push to connect because this makes it super simple. So three, three on this side will be plugged together with a jumper three on this side will be plugged together with a jumper. They'll come together to a, a three prong or a three, three hole nut. And then from there a jumper will come up and connect to hot. So I'm literally just plugging all of these together to hot. Same thing with neutral. Neutral's coming all the way down here, connecting to all of these guys, same exact thing. These guys are all being connected together with one wire coming from this bundle and connecting to neutral down here. So one side of the fixture is neutral and one side is hot. And that's it. Once you do that, you're using your old tombstones or sockets. Um, you just plug in the bulbs just like normal. They're one inch bulbs. They look like T8 bulbs and they fit into these standard one inch sockets here. So once you've done that, you wind up spending, uh, let's see, I bought 50 bulbs at $6.88 a bulb. So you're right around $26 um, per light to do this. But a single ballast for a four, for a four lamp, four foot um, 
trough or light like this is going to be around $24 a ballast plus the light bulbs. So you actually wind up saving money instead of replacing the ballast, just going with these LEDs. Now, when you go to replace the LEDs again, you know, you'll have to fork out the $7 per bulb or so to replace them. Um, but they last 50,000 hours and they use half, well, of these T12s, I don't even know. Uh, of, they only use about 15 watts per light bulb. Um, and they're super bright, way brighter than the old T12s and definitely brighter than even the T8s. So yeah, this is a very simple install, something you can do very easily and you never have to worry about these silly ballasts going bad again. Hopefully that is helpful to you.